In this video I'm going to explain the differences between stiff and tender ships. These are two terms from ship stability and I'm going to explain what loading has to do with both of these centers of gravity, how angles of maximum heel or angles of vanishing stability have to do with stiff and tender ships, how passenger comfort and safety or load safety and uh, damages to loads relate to stiff and tender ships and what role period has to do with both or either of these conditions. So it's going to be one very simple demo. There's nothing to calculate. Just wash my hands. I have here a piece of a, a, piece of a beam. I just made one slice out of it. It's a 4x4 four four square beam, but this is now the ship. How is this a ship? This one here is the bottom of the hold here. This is where the keel is. This is where the bilge is along the sides, the side panels, the rolled corners of the top deck. This is the top deck on which a superstructure can be placed. This of course in a ship is longer and it ends in a bow and a stern. Okay, so that's how this is a ship. This is a cross section of a ship or also known as a transverse section of a ship. This wooden stick here, this dowel, is representing the center line of the transverse section of the ship. So this, trans uh, this transverse center line is along the entire length of the ship from bow to stern, okay? And is in the middle. Loads are placed into the cargo hold here in this ship. And I'm gonna get rid of that shape for now. And this is how they look like. Ideally, the loads are not thrown into a corner here and and left alone there, they are placed so that uh, they are in line with the transverse center line of the ship, so around which the ship can easily balance because you don't want to be driving a ship that's loaded like this. So, this condition when the center of gravity is low in a ship because the loads are placed to the bottom of the ship is known as a stiff ship. In a stiff ship when it's heeled over to some to some degrees either port or starboard they right themselves fairly fast. Okay? This fast writing is the roll period when the ship is rolled over to to port or starboard, the ship rights itself fairly fast. Now, if the loads are increased down here in the hold, more loads are placed, this roll period is even faster. It's hard to measure it, but it is faster. So, this type of loading is uh, well within the capability of, a, of any ship, but introduces two problems. If you are living on the deck here, on, or better yet, just come up a little bit, on the top of the superstructure here, okay, so that's uh, a little height above the deck, then when the stiff is loaded to produce this condition that it's a stiff ship, then life is extremely violent up here because the ship writes itself very fast and comes to a stop very fast without too many of these side wobbles or side oscillations there. Okay, so those people who live here up top, they are being yanked left and right violently as the, as the top of the stick comes to a fairly sudden stop. Okay, loads also placed on the top of the deck here are also yanked left and right quite violently. Okay, so that's, uh, that, that's how roll period and stiff ships work together. Now if you change the placement of the loads, I'm gonna go for the extreme there, then what happens to the roll period is that it, it becomes longer. It's much more of a sway now that the center of gravity of the same mass, the masses didn't change or, or the loads didn't change, the loads remained the same, okay? They were just 
load it on top of the deck or I just went for the maximum height of this dowel stick just to provide a contrast. In this condition it takes a lot longer for the for this uh, this used to be a wheel and an axle okay so it, it takes for this shape a lot more time to balance itself and center itself there and it's gently swaying up top this is a much more livable configuration for a passenger ship the passengers up top here or the captain of a cargo ship are not yanked left and right violently this is a gentle sway that they can live with now is this condition is known as a tender ship okay so this was stiff ship very violent and there tender ship very gentle and that's the next thing I wanted to show you angles of maximum heel on a tender ship the angle of maximum heel is a lot less say from about this angle here and you can put a protractor on your screen it falls over so it only balances within a narrow range of there within a narrow range of of uh, port and starboard angles okay when the ship is loaded in a stiff condition they right themselves almost to a, from a 45 degree angle there okay so stiff ships are extremely stable and tender ships are much less stable but they are much more comfortable so ship design usually involves a consideration of where the ship's center of gravity lies when it's loaded but also uh, if you are loading the ship you need to know where to place the loads for maximum stability if maximum stability is your is your goal so that's what I wanted to share with you this is how stiff and tender ships and all of these terms relate and come together thank you very much for watching